Hi, this is Tom Mullaney, Digital Learning Coach at Gravely Hill Middle School in Eflin, North Carolina. This screencast is about a great Google app, My Maps. How does one get to My Maps? First, one way would be to type google.com slash My Maps. And there, if you notice, you have a button to create a new map. And every map you've ever played with or viewed is accessible here. There's another way to do it. That would be to go to maps.google.com to access your Google Maps. It's also available in the waffle. Click on the veggie burger right here and then click on your places. Go to maps and now all the maps you've ever looked uh, worked on are right here. In addition, there's a create map button. I'm going to suggest that the best way to do it is to actually do it out of Google Drive. So that way it stores in the folder with the same content that you want. For instance, I have a French Revolution folder here. And if you notice, there's a map. And the way I did that was this way. I clicked New, More, and Google My Maps. And now I can create a map in Google Drive. So let's create one. First of all, let's give it a title. Let's give it a description. Explore the instance we had saved. You can play with layers. I haven't played with layers too much. I'll just put Amsterdam as that. If you only want to use one layer, you can add more layers as well. Um, but for now, let's just add some locations. So how does one add a location? We type it into the search bar. You can do an address or if it's a landmark. So for instance, if I type in Anne Frank House, it's going to find it right away, right? It also finds some elementary schools. The way to add it to your map is to click add to map. Now you have options, including the icon. I like changing the icon or at least playing with that icon. Oh, and you do it by clicking this here. This one will give it a color. And now you have so many options of icons. It is pretty intense how many you have. I'll stick with this. Actually, maybe I'll go, maybe we'll go with the square. Um, you can import icons under custom icon. There are older icons that they used to use. You have so many choices. So I put it there and now let me X out of that and let's also edit. So you can type a description. This is and you can also edit um, that description. You can also, this is really nice. You can add an image or video. So let's add a uh, video real quick. So if I click on more and if I do YouTube search and I'll do a quick search. I'll put that there and now that video is there. That little preview is there. I'll hit save. Let's add another location. So that's there. I have it there. It's got that right there. So, and if you notice, I'm going to put the Fault in Our Stars bench, the bench where the two characters are in Amsterdam and Fault in Our Stars, and it comes up. It's so often searched that it actually comes up. So let me add that to my map. And again, let me play with the, so I'll give it this blue like the fault in our stars. And then let me give it, let me change the icon. I'll go with, let's go this one, cause it's a star. There we go, perfect. And now I will add an image. So first of all, this, give it the description, save. And now let me put an image in. This is from a YouTube video. I can upload, I can use my webcam, I'm going to use my image URL. Let me show you how what that looks like. So I did the fault in our stars search in Google. I click on images. And now for copyright tool, to make sure I have something that's copyright friendly, I go to search tool, I go to usage rights, labeled for reuse. And so now I have this one. I like this one. And now I will click view image and copy that. I will paste that in there and it is there. And now I hit save. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm just going to show you how to add shapes. This is great for kind of showing regions or areas. So if I want to add a shape, let me just X out that preview. Maybe I do something like this. So I go to draw a line, add a line or shape. One, two, three, four and back there and then i'll say 
lots. And that kind of colors it. I can give that an image as well. And here is a great And let me give that a little color as well. So I'll give it a very light, like yellowish gray, just to kind of hover over that. Okay. Now, how do I share this? If I'm a teacher, how do I share this with students? If I'm a student, how do I share it with teachers? So we go to share. And then notice it says private only you can access. Let's change that to on the web. Anyone can view it, hit save, no sign. This is as open as I can make it. I now hit a copy. I will then hit done and that link will then share to anyone who wants to see it. If I want to see what it will look like on their end, I click preview. Now look at this. This is I really like this is what it will look like to them. So I have my map. I have a little description here. I like to put links in there sometimes too. If I click Anne Frank House, now if you notice, I get the, the video preview very nicely embedded. I can do as much as 10 images. I only did the one video there, but you can do that. Now I go here. I go to the Fault in Our Stars bench. I see the image. I see the text right there. And if you notice, if I zoom in on this, I chose yellow as that color. That might have been a bad choice for a color, but I do see that rectangle. And so that's my maps in... Google, great way to explore, to learn some geography, and to share information with students.